Logan, welcome back to me doing a reaction thing uh, to Irina, the Vampire Cosmonauts. Um, today's episode 12, it's titled The New World, and whoa, you know, from what I was talking about in the last video and now, this totally makes me feel like, yeah, this is going to be a, the progressiveness of, of society, and not just the cosmonaut aspect of humans being able to go to space. What about if vampires now will be able to become part of society? I feel like that would be much more of an impacting, you know, societal impact, right? Uh, than just going to our space, uh, be it that, I don't know, both equally seem kind of fascinating, you know? Uh, but who knows, really? This is gonna be the last episode that Lev and, and Arena will have any sort of, um, I don't know, interaction, unless we get an OVA or a movie or something, but, um, I don't know. I, I already feel like I can put this anime in, in, in the, um, what do you call it? On the list, on, on the shelf. There you go. That That's what I'm looking for, the shelf. And more likely, forget about it. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's do it. This is the final episode. Let's do the reaction. Alright, here we uh, go. Wow. <laughs> Look at all the uh, memorabilia they have created of him. You're not truly famous unless someone makes a stamp out of you. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, dude. Welcome back, bitch. Oh, look at that. Your parents? Your parents? No, they exist! You never even talked about these motherfuckers! Oh, maybe those are not his real parents. That's why he probably wasn't even crying. He had no tears in his eyes. Maybe it's all a facade, you know, like, like uh, acting, you know? Interesting. Did you just say something happened, son? Are those really his parents? And, and you're not even gonna cry? You're not gonna cry seeing your parents. Okay, so those are really his parents. I'm so confused. She's willing to run through the sun. Oh, 
<laughs> what happened here? I I couldn't say. He's sleeping, but I couldn't say that. I, bizarre. Oh, look, the other vampires. Are you going to say her, her name? Uh oh. Wow, and you're dead. They're gonna let him keep speaking? This is so dumb. Yo, if this were to happen in real life, you'd be dead right now, shot. Did she just do a flight head pod? Don't you think that people would recognize that? Oh god, why do you have pointy ears? Oh, you must be a vampire. I don't know. Get it. Cosmonaut. Don't tell me it's a vampire. Finish him. 
We're pretending, you know, one, it's not even pretending that she's a person. You're telling me vampires exist? What? So does that mean that Frankenstein exists and the werewolves and Bigfoot? Are they gonna go to the moon? What? I just, this, this episode's just, ugh. Ah! Oh, that's so me. Go away. I always dreamed of space together before humans did. I was dead set on it. Get out of here, bitch. I always resented human kind. Hated them. You devil! I saw them too cold. They were in hell. I thought humans were special. They deserved to die. Okay. Yay! We did it! <laughs> you didn't change it didn't change at all for good. Lots of people are mad. There's still going to be that stigma, that um, prejudice, I guess. Oh, this is a better speech. That that the much better speech than they were having. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a baby. You know, 380,000 kilometers doesn't seem that far. It really doesn't. Because I'm like, what is the width of the Earth? It's got to be almost the same, right? Or am I exaggerating? If you travel from one point to Earth to the end of the Earth, how much miles is that? I got to go I got to Google this. The width. What is the width of the Earth? Look at that, everyone's all happy. All right, so I was way off. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the width of the Earth is 40,000 uh, kilometers. Uh, not even close to what the moon is. Why did I think it would be just the same? You know, I, I guess when you ever, when, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done this before, but when you look up numbers and whatnot and you realize, wow, we're smaller than we, we actually think we are, like, 40,000 doesn't seem that big compared to 380,000, right? But whatever. Um, all right, so now we can finally discuss 
the show um, in a nutshell. Um, I don't know how I feel about this show, really. Um, it started out good. I liked the idea of it, but it got a little bit hokey and pretentious. Um, you know, the, the whole... You know, you, oh my god, they, he, he didn't even get to get bit in the neck. What was that all about? It was all fucking weird and perverted, like biting. What the fuck was that? You know? Oh, man. So now, you know, this world, the Sinatrust is coexisting with uh, with the vampires. And, oh, look at that. We're friendly now. We're peaceful people. Yay, yay. I, I, I don't, look, I, I, I don't even know where to go. I'm not even satisfied. I'm not happy about the show. Um, I can't even think of giving it a compliment because it's just, it failed on so many levels in the sense of there was no urgency, there was no fear, there was no real drama. Uh, the show felt extremely dry and flat and unoriginal and maybe not unoriginal, maybe that I'll take that away because it, it did feel original, but the execution was just blah. It was made by um, Studio Arvo Animations. They've only done two other shows, and they seem to only be doing shows during um, during the fall, I think. No, not not even. They only done another show called Monster Girl Doctor, <laughs> which I feel like it's probably the same shit as this. Oh look, it's another girl, and she's pretty and stuff, but she's a monster and she's a doctor. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and then they did another show called We Never Learn Baku Ben. Which I heard a lot of things about that show. Um, but um, I don't know if that show's good or not. But I, I don't know if it's up my alley because I do like this fantasy esque ness of the show, but I just don't like the lightness of it. It's just too soft. It's like <laughs> it's not that I'm expecting violence or anything, but I'm I'm expecting um, to at least be you know to at least have my expectations averted. You know, you know throughout the whole show, Irina was going to get executed because there's people who don't like the fact that they're using her to go to space and you know yada yada yada. But they just didn't go anywhere. We finally get to meet Lev's parents, and it's. It's just so cliche. There's just no emotion, let alone in their in the actual animation, in the characters' faces, and their voices too. And that that could be just blamed on the dub. There was just no emotion uh, in in the voices or the voice acting, shall we say? I was more hoping that they both would have went to Earth, or I mean, to Earth. What was it? To outer space. Both love and arena. I feel like that was the goal. Where like something shenanigans, right, was stopping love from actually achieving to go into space right and what if for whatever reason irena can breathe in outer space or she can at least survive in space uh, long enough to keep love alive to take a picture of the first human in space or something like that um something cliche like that but no nah. maybe there'll be a sequel maybe there's still some more stories being told in um in the manga I uh, can't say that I know if if there is. Um, I don't know if the manga is still outgoing. Um, actually, looking looking at the manga list, it's just oh, it's just about to release in the states. At least up, you know, as far as this video goes, the first volume will release in August second, um, which is about six years late compared to the first volume. As a matter of fact, there's seven volumes in total, and yeah, wow, jeez, Americans, the U.S. gets absolutely late-ass manga. Why? Why so late? You know, seven volumes, I feel like that's not a tough read. Maybe I'll need to check it out for myself, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> the art style is pretty, I guess. Maybe I'm also a sucker for the covers, uh, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, uh, Peoples of the World, uh, what do you guys think of Arena, the, uh, the cosmonaut, the vampire cosmonaut? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What were your favorite parts? What wasn't your favorite parts? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
always like the video and subscribe it helps me quite a lot and yeah god bless you i'll see you soon bye, -bye.